Hello everybody and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. We are here once again within this cursed estate and we are ready to jump in for another mission. We're going to go and kill the wizened hag for the legendary brace. I'm pretty excited for it. But first of all, of course, we have to get into our initial backstory for our new class, the Hexer. And this is Orwell Nish Karan. <clears throat> I'm very excited to play as this class. This class, as you can see, has quite literally no damage, <laughs> um, but it's all about debuffing. So I'm really excited to try the class out. Now I'm gonna try with the Daruma here and uh, go with these two here, which lower speed, accuracy and dodge or crit damage and prot. I'm unsure if it'll trigger because it says on attack hit, but these don't deal damage. So I don't know if they count. I think they still do. But I'm going to have to find out. Either way, these debuffs are really good regardless. Um, and we'll get into this guy's backstory now. This is a backstory that was written by um, Dr. Samus Junkie once again. And it's really, really good. So let's get right into it. This is Orwell's backstory. She said she would come back for me. He mutters under his breath. The only words he's been saying for countless days and nights in the years he's been locked away in the now closed asylum. Fest uh, feasting on rats and drinking water from the leak uh, leaks in the wall. Only a few days in, she said. Just so I can get better, she said. He paces in circles around his cell, waiting. Waiting for what? Waiting for her. She's not coming. Not coming. She left you here. I know where she is. You can get you, you can get yourself out. You know how. I will show you where she is. Orwell growls, sp um, spitting his burning blood at the hinges of his cell door and bashing his shoulder against it until it falls. Um, free aside from the straitjacket, he tears through the abandoned asylum, searching for an exit. Need to find her. Need to know why. Really, really, really love that. And yeah, we are going in with him at a level 1 and everyone else at a level 2. <clears throat> I prepared what I think is a pretty good gathering of folks here. So we've got um, Hestia here, who of course has some really hard-hitting stuff with Iron Swan, which is really good for the hag. Um, and I've given her the extra chance for her stun, as well as the extra bleed and the resistances. And then we've also gone with the head, which is going to give her even more stun and also extra damage versus humans, which the hag is a human. So that's going to be pretty good. Of course, we've got um, Orwell here with the extra HP and the Daruma to see if that works out. We've got Kimber Morgan, of course, once again with the Silver Syringe and the extra HP. And then we've got Chaos with the Guts Dragon Slayer and the Snuff. He is in the back line here, as you can see, but that's because I'm going to try out Trample. Essentially, we can use this to knock back and clear corpses on the front three. And I'm thinking, because he's going to go last, we might be able to get a kill early and then clear the corpse really quickly. So we'll just have to see if that pans out, but I'm excited to try it nonetheless and... Let's, uh, let's get our provisions ready to go and fight uh, the Wizened Hag. Now, we are kind of running low on funds from the upgrades we've done, so we do have to maybe do some money-making runs pretty quickly here. One moment, actually. Um, let me just check. This is in the wield. Okay. I tried to check where it was. In the wield, we're going to want 20 food. We're going to want four shovels. Three of those. Three of those. Two of those. Three of those, two of those, and 12 of these. Yeah, our money is, is running desperately low right now, so we'd have to worry about that. But let's embark and see how we get on here. Um, the one thing that this guy does have as well is he has this, which is going to buff up all, our, all of our resistances and last until the end of battle. The main reason I've got that on is because in this position, he can't use his debuffs. So until... Um, Chaos charges forward, we can't actually use these, which means that we can use this on turn one. I think that's going to be the best way to play this. So let's embark on our journey and get into our first area after many this. Rare and elusive volumes on ancient herbal properties and was set to enjoy several weeks immersed in comfortable study. My work was interrupted, however, by a singularly striking young woman who insisted on repeated calls to the house. Intriguing. Yeah, let's get into our first diary entry. This is The Cost of Greed, a puppet master production. As we saw, we brought in the um, the puppet theatre for everyone to lower their stress. This is part of this. A young Viera explores a crypt with a man in tow, both filling their bags with coins and gems um, from the heavy stone caskets they pried open, and echoing uh, in the stone hall haunts them. Did you hear that, Viara? 
the man asking, turns around with a torch in his hand to look in the eerie darkness surrounding them. It's nothing, Arlo. This place is old. It's probably just a draft from outside whistling through the stern. Liara lifts her heavy bag from the ground, needing both hands to get it back over her shoulder. Now come on, I think it's time we go. I don't think I could squeeze another thing in here if I tried. Her husband nods, requiring just as much effort to hoist his back up over his shoulder. I can't wait to see Mishki again. She probably has been dri um, driving my mother. An apparition stops his words. Coming around the corner, led by a flickering blue glow, a floating figure with a skull for a head, and not but a golden yellow cloak floating above the ground for a body. Allah, we should go. Come. Viara pulls her on her husband's robes to no avail. He remains frozen where he stands, petrified in horror and awe as the creature um, robs... The creature's robes open to a mass of faces, groaning and calling out to the pair to rescue them from their fate. With Arlo lost cause, Viara chooses to run, her, um, hauling her bag as best she can, only to trip, shredding the fabric and splitting her gatherings across the floor. She runs and runs through the twists and turns of the extensive crypt, eventually finding her way back outside where she falls to her knees and wails in despair. Not only her treasures, but her, also her beloved, gone, because their greed overtook their sense. Wow. That is that is deep. There is My goodness. Method in the wild My goodness. Here. Well, let's the move on and see what we can do here. I'm excited to try out this crew. It's a pretty mismatch of group of guys, but I think they could honestly do really well. I'm hoping Chaos doesn't take on too much stress early on, because he is a, a rather stressed out lad. We do, of course, have camping as well here. Ooh, pretty nice scout there. Ooh, hello. Hello, hello. I don't think so. I don't think so. That scares me a little bit. Uh, trap disarm. It's going to have to be you. Thank God you got it. Very nice to see Viara. Hestia, sorry. From reading that last diary entry, I apologize. Hunger check already, wow. But yeah, Hestia here is going to do a real good amount of damage, especially that 25% bonus. I'm looking forward to seeing that in action. More heirlooms here. Well, really, we, we, we want to be looking for money. We might even take Viara out Wealth after this to try and get a bit more money because at the minute the brave we're, we're the a little light, light on change and we could really use some more. It could definitely cause trouble if we don't. Here's our first battle. We'll see who goes first. Unfortunately, there, but the targeting's fine. I don't mind that. Although, that this this could be very devastating. Brief yeah, it's pretty injury. bad. <laughs> Pretty bad. Le at least no uh, poison there. Go for the heal off the bat there. Healed up a good amount. Um, I think I should go for the hit here, don't I? And yeah, we want to want to start our turn with that, which gives massive uh, buffs. I won't say massive, but pretty good uh, res uh, buffs to our resistances there. And then we we do that for a very good amount of damage, and it puts you up in front. Very much like that. Go for that again. We do have some stress relieving skills here if we need them. Which I'm sure we will do at some point. So basically the way that we can play this is we use these two to debuff and then we can use Malform to stun as well as get bonus crit and stun chance from these two. So we probably want to lower this guy's prop damage and crit. So we'll do that now. And we want to see if Daruma, Daruma does work. It did, unfortunately, resist the other debuffs, but it's good to know that Daruma works. There's a huge crit there. Awesome. That's all I needed to know. Gotta remember to switch everyone around at the end of the turn, so Chaos can get back there. That's, a, that's an ability that I've been wanting to use as him for a long while, and just not really sort of found a build, a crew that works alongside it. But now, after his heavy drinking, <laughs> he's, uh, he's gotten to the point where he's ready for it. So, in this situation here, let's just try and clear some stress. So let's clear stress here. It's not a lot, but seven is good enough. Both of our resistances there. Iron Swan on you. That's an insta-kill. It's awesome. And we trample there. Knocks you back, which is not great for that enemy, but other enemies it's going to work quite well. That's a lot of stress there. I might even want to do another stress relief there straight away, I'll be honest. Okay, another push. That's fine. That's fine. Didn't move us anyways. Yeah, definitely go for some more stress relief here. Get that to a manageable level. 
Wow, they really, really, really want to kill Allwell right now, don't they? Not looking good for him. Um, and here we'll lower the accuracy and everything. So yeah, you can see this huge, huge debuffs across the board here. Good stuff. Got that stun. Yeah, I thought you were gonna get another stress off. It's fine. It's annoying, but it's it's, it's cleansable. Not a great heal there. But that gets the kill, and then you should be reasonably easy to kill. There you go. Lovely. The greater the glory. We got these, which we don't need to worry about. And then grab all that. Okay, lovely. Okay, things aren't going too bad so far. Probably want to camp just before the boss. Uh, bandages. Grab a little bit extra. We got that. Okay, that's not too bad. Test. Now it must be carried home. Fortunately, nothing there. Oh, hello. Hello. So we do have extra damage against humans here. So Iron Swan is going to be our, our main go-to here. Hopefully, with Iron Swan, we can get a one-hit kill. I'm, I'm assuming we'll be able to go for that stress relief here. Get that back down to regular levels. Blanket fire. Annoying, but not terrible. Slice and dice, problematic. I could go for a stun on him. I'm going to try it. Ah, bugger. Yes, we got it. We get the treasure. Awesome. And we get the trample there. That's, that's good damage and it pushes everyone back. We'll do our group heal next, I think. Okay, you're going to resist healing, but that's okay. God, look at the way the Orwell fucking shrieks and... Oh, God, the idle animations are just kind of creepy. I love it. Beautiful. Health isn't looking too good across the board here, but we'll get through it. I was hoping that'd get the back guy and kill him, but that's just, just as good, to be honest. Doesn't mean we take this damage, though, but actually, only one of us took the damage. Yeah, we really need some more heals coming out here. One, five. Oh, seven. Okay. That's, that's even better. Beautiful damage there. Give them no quarter. So yeah, as you can see, we've got a good bit here. Um, I would like to take up both of those. So let's um, let's just gobble the holy waters down. We'll take that, and then bandages. We'll take that. Maybe not the best play there, because we'll come across a new few bodies now. But still, right? Boss is just down here, so we want to camp in this last room here. Some reward. Wow, we're getting a lot of trinkets here. Um, a lot of trinkets indeed. I like it. A victim to the spreading corruption. Right, we will camp here after the battle. Uh, oh yeah, there's a battle. Okay. I was gonna say, oh no, no battle for a second there, but the game tricked me. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for another party heal. I want to get everyone topped off. Get that going. I love the animations and all these attacks here. Backline crit immediately. The trample is really good for this. Look at that. Oh. This is such a good combo with Iron Swan and the trample. I really like that. No rabies, please. Ah, oh, yes, resist. Beautiful. Did you resist it as well, maybe? Good, no disease. Come on. Please, no rabies. cannot be left unanswered. We do have a disease removal, I think, here. Yeah, remove disease. That's only for myself, I think, though. Such huge debuffs. Party heal again. Everyone's topped up now. Confidence you go down. As the enemy crumbles. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All good stuff it's here. Right, green. so... But a victory, nonetheless. We camp. A moment of respite. Um, to steal oneself against the coming horrors. We're got, not going to need the rest of the food, but that is nine food. I'm going to go with five just in case. So I've got at least one food check. Right, let's see what we've got here. Um, 
We've got Prevent Knights of Ambush. We'll definitely use that. Debuff Skill Chance is probably pretty good. Plus 10 Crip... Um, She's not going to be in position one, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, debuff skill chance. And then just do that there. Oh, okay. Let's give that a go. The promise of safety. Are we ready? Oh, of course we get a battle. God damn it. At least I can get my stress down a little bit more, I guess. Of course, we get some stress back immediately there. But of course. Wow, the crits coming out of her right now are just insane. I love it. I just want only work from position one, so we are going to have to play around that properly with, uh, with Chaos here. So when he tramples, obviously he takes position one. Maybe we should have taken that position one buff. That's done. Some stress off of ourselves as well. Good hit. Beautiful stuff. Not a single miss from Chaos so far. Surprising, but very, very nice. And baubles. Okay, right. In we go. Ready for the boss. Let's try this out. Twisted and maniacal. A slurring uh, testament to Resists the going straight off the bat here. Wow, K is going into the pot straight away. Okay. Um Okay. Not great, because this is our only damage dealer now. Do I get him out of the pot? I think I do. I'm gonna have to. Okay, now our healer's in the pot. You have... Okay, so we want to get rid of your... There you go, let's do that. Are oh, you resisted? Okay. Unfortunate. This isn't going the way I hoped it would so far, I'll be honest. This is not going the way I wanted it to at all. Get Repose going there, I guess. Not like liking her position right now. I've not, I've not done any damage to her so far. This is bad. This is real bad. And now I can't heal. Yeah, I, I, I've maybe misplayed this. I don't know. Maybe I've come into this not thinking right, because... I don't know how to best do this now. Like, I think I have to go for her. But he's just going to throw someone else in the pot now, and it's like, it's, it's just kind of going round and round. Yeah. Whoever's in the back goes in the pot. Oh, nice dodge. Good heal. Wow. Very good heal. That's going to be a repose there, at least. That's going to be more bleed. Just mispositioning everyone. Okay, why did you go for the pot? God damn it. Yeah, I, I was kind of hoping to use Iron Swan as much as possible, and it's not really worked out the way I was hoping it would. Another seven across the board here. Meet Tenderizer once again. That hurts. Need the repost up for that, really. I don't think I'm ever going to get a stun on her. Oh, wow, I did. Okay. Good, good. Get her out of the pot. Go with an Iron Swan off the bat here. I think we should be okay. It's just everything's feeling a little stressful right now. Our heals have been really on point. I will say that. Extra crits received, good. Chaos into the pot now. I'm gonna go for an Iron Swan here. Good. 
heal you up fully. Should I just leave him in the pot for now? Maybe I should. I think I can get the kill. He's got quite a lot of health, so I think it should be okay. It's a little risky to do, but I think one good Iron Swan could finish this all off. Yeah, there you go. And that'll get him out of the pot as well. Sorry, Chaos. Realize it's not ideal. Um, get rid of a few of them, and a few of them, and some food. Okay, certainly, certainly a scary one, but we got through it. Return to the Hamlet, and we got our legendary Bracer, which I very much like to see. Very much like to see indeed. Good amount of money as well, that's nice. And let's see. Okay, we got a few level 3s there. 20% damage versus stunned is decent. Um... 25% stress after the first round. Wow, that's bad. I, I might get rid of that immediately. Minus 20 accuracy of stress above 70. And bears a crushing guilt of deeds real and imagined. I, I mean, I, I bet he does. I bet he does. He's done some horrific things. Right. Unequip all of our trinkets here. Right, let's quickly remove... The, uh... That. It's just terrible. We need to get rid of that straight away. Right. First of all, let's check who we've got here. Lots of level twos. I like to see that. Um, in fact, this is literally all healers. Wow. Mender, healer. Vestal, healer. Shield maiden, healer. Lamia, healer. Botanist, healer. Botanist is probably the one I'm mo most likely to take here. A blight-based healer is a lot of fun. Um, at least from what I understand, she's a healer. Um, in fact... Maybe she's just like an off healer. Okay, there it is. There's the, there's the main heal. Herbal infusion. But also the shield maiden is, is a fun one too. Certainly an interesting one. Uh, question is, do I need another healer right now? Do I want to hold out for someone else? How many level 2 healers do we have? We have... One, two, three, and then level three healers, we have one, two, okay. I guess we could take on another one just in case. Let's let's take on the botanist here, give her a go. Someone can write for her in the coming episodes. We'll see what trinkets we have available. None that we can afford, of course. Um... Interesting stuff, and yeah, let's let's see what we want to do for our next outing here. So we've got the Metal Wolf protection after first round and resolve XP. That's for the Sodden crew. We've got the Highwayman, the Lucky Coin, extra crit, extra accuracy, extra dodge for minus damage and plus stress. Okay. We've got this. This is a level four mission there. Werewolf, Bleed, Script Chance, Debuff Chance, 10% damage if you have Disease Rabies. Interesting. We do need to go to the courtyard soon, but I want to get most people to level 3 or 4 before we do that. I think that's fair. Right, where do we want to go here? We could go into the curve and get the um, damage on the first round, 10% chance and monsters surprised. That's pretty good, to be honest. Let's take a look, shall we? So, we definitely want to bring Viara here, obviously. Uh, one moment. Okay, uh, so we definitely want Viara here. Um, we definitely want another healer here, so... Maybe we'll take Basilla, or Lysander, or Artemis. Let's take Basilla, shall we? Um, and then, we're going into the curve here. So, is it, is it Bleed that's good in the curve? Bleed's good in the curve, right? One second, we have to check. Okay, no, unfortunately, it's not Bleed that's good in the curve. It's, uh, it's the other one. So maybe we bring Renetta for that case, then. And then who else? I really want to bring the Guardian of Never a little more. 
I suppose we could go with Awale, we've not brought him in a while. Hmm. Awale, maybe. This is, this is tough. There's a lot of choice here. Nyx could be fun as well. Bagman needs to level up too. Blaze is good. Let's bring our Wale, I think. Right, let's uh, let's trinket these guys up then. So you, you we know what we're gonna take for you. Uh, we've got, we've actually got two uh, pretty good trinkets as you already. So extra max HP, extra plot, pro, and death blow resist. And we've got the um, Adder's Kiss here. By the way, apparently that minus 2% damage is meant to be minus 2 damage, as in like 2 flat damage, not 2%. It's just written wrong. Um, so it's good good to know that. But Adder's Kiss there with that. And then, yeah, we've got this as well for max health and prot, which is pretty good. But also... I really like the idea of the Daruma on you, so I'm gonna gonna hold off on that. Um, yeah, because if we if we play around with um, Impale, Impale's a lot of fun. Although Impale doesn't get any of the bonuses here, but I think regardless that works out well. And while I hear, of course we know what we're going for with this guy, Guts Sword Legendary Bracer. 40% extra damage. Why not? <laughs> Why not? And then for you, uh, let's just check our HPs here. Oh, wow. Renee's HP is really, really low. Her base HP. Maybe I want to go with this instead and just buffer up HP wise. I think I'm going to do that, you know. I really like this, this move here, uh, but that scares me a lot. Um, and then here, you've already got 30 HP, so maybe I'll go with that for the crystal. I really like buffing HP. Buffing HP is very, very good. Um, although buffing resists is probably a little bit better, so I'll take the resist buff, actually. Um, and then for you, buff HP. And we, we do have this for you, which is 33% healing received. God damn, you have some really bad stuff going on here. <laughs> Um, hmm. I could go with a disease. I could go with scouting. Scouting's pretty decent. It's kind of tricky to, to know what to go for here, I'll be honest. Where's our thing with all the resists? Who, who's got that right now? Okay, you've got all the resists right now. Maybe I'll swap this over and you can have, um... You can have this, the snuff. And you can have the resists. I think that works out pretty well. Okay, cool. I think we're good to go. I like the way the has speed is just a complete lie. It says we get plus 10, but it's only while it's below 25% HP. Right, I think we're reasonably set here. I'm not particularly happy with everyone's max HP. Everyone's pretty low. But our healing power here is pretty good. So now let's just check to make sure that everyone is upgraded. So you're good, you're good, you're good, and you're good. And then, yeah, we're all good. Good, good, good. No need to spend extra money there. And we're going for the ambushers cowl here. So let's grab our provisions. We're going into the curve on a medium. Uh, do we have any prevent, prevent nighttime ambush? We do. Good. Good, good, good. We also are coming in with a quest item, which is something we haven't done before, I don't think. So we go with 20 food. We go with four shovels, two of them, three of them, four of them, three of them, two of them, and go with 14 torches. Okay, that should be good. Let's embark and see how this goes. Uh, let's get into our next diary entry as well. Last one for the episode by Rookerin. This is one that's also been written in collaboration with Lamika as well. Training grounds between Blaze and Klo uh, Koshkin. The sharpened axe heavily hits the shield. A clinch um, at Blaze let uh, lets out a, heart a hardy smile. Hardy smile even? Hard ha yes, hardy smile. I apologize. Very good form, sir, but balance is important as well. A forward shove 
pushing Koshkin, stumbling back, um, though he sweeps his hook behind the Elder's ankle, sweeping him down to the ground. Koshkin stands ready to let out another strike, though he then notices his partner is kneeled, coughing harshly, a spot of blood from an old injury. The two men decide then to stop as they sit down on a nearby bench, wiping the sweats off their brow. You're old, the hunter bluntly states, as Blaze scoffs, still knowing the wind out, um, out, still knocked the wind out of you. To this, Kosh waved his a hand in response. No insult, a fine compliment. An old warrior deserves to live their last years in peace, passing down, not dying in filth. He starts. He states, an odd comment from a mercenary, and th then an old weathered smirk. It's more than that. To this, Koshkin raises an eyebrow. More killing? Blaze shakes his head and lets out a single no. No, um, no insult to you, sir, but I fight for more than just me, Blaze dently asserts and adds. I fight so that th um, they can have their peace, motioning to the family walking past. A past failure and a tilted head and um, are all, a tilted head is all the response he gets. Yes, the man at arms shamefully admits, I would gladly give my last drop of blood, my last breath for them. You are skilled, Koshkin, no doubt in that, but what is it you're fighting for? The bounty hunter stone shrugs. Money. Yes, yes, I know you do, but why? You never spend it on anything. Neither for your family, to pay a debt, hell, not even for extravagance, so why is it, boy? The old man then bears witness to a rare sight as Koshkin does something unseen. He hesitates, his gaze for once staring at something beyond the fields before him. It's not often um, a seen sight of self-reflection, now beaming off of his face. Blaze sighs as he pats his shoulder, walking to leave the man to his thoughts. Seems like he might have to think on this one for a while, huh? Really, really like that. Great stuff. I love these collaborations as well. The People that are doing this, it's just, like it's just awesome. The Did we take scouting? I can't remember. No, we didn't. Okay. Place right, so, gotta remember that Viara's gotta take everything to make sure we get the maximum value here. We are going on a money hunt, not heirloom hunt. So we take money Lord over heirlooms. The the we'll see what we can get. Hopefully a good amount. Um, we're also activating three protective wards here, so we've got to actually look around everywhere. I think battle-wise, we should be fine. Um, Impale here. Lands that debuff on everyone. And then our allies should be able to do some hefty crits, I'm hoping. we got a stun and a bleed off the bat there. Unlucky. Oh, resist on the stun. Nice. Um, extra damage, accuracy, and crit. The accuracy buff mainly is the thing we want, and the dodge buff there as well. Be gone, I mean, look at that. <laughs> look at that. The double crit for 24 instantly. That's the sort of stuff we are looking for. And there's a crit as well. Yeah, this is going to be amazing, I'm hoping. So far, so good. Right. Bit of herbs there. That's a lot of stuff already. Wow. Um, I'll get rid of the excess shovel for now because we don't need it. Or hopefully don't need it. What the hell's this? Oh, is this one of the things we have to... Uh... Yeah, it is. Nice. I was like, what the hell? I've never seen this Curia before. We get a map here. So there's, there's nothing actually up the way we were just about to go. Not even any Curios. Okay, good stuff. Why? Why? Why did you touch that? Compulsive. God damn it. Didn't use the goddamn uh, correct curio thingy. Ooh, 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 we can get rid of something negative here. So we got tactless. That's probably good to remove, to be honest. Um, you have so many that it's just unlikely we'll get rid of compulsive. So I'm going to go with tactless here. Awesome. It's really good to see. Let's go down here real quick. Now hopefully the compulsiveness doesn't lose Fearing us too much gold, money. Trinkets and baubles. Another one of these already. Wow. Paid for in blood. And then trap disarm. Unfortunately, across the board, we're all seventy percent here. So we're gonna we're gonna Ancient lose some to that. Traps lie in wait. Unsprung and 
Thirsting. It's okay. Okay, gotta kill this front guy first. Hmm. Yeah, just go. Oh, wrong person. It's fine. That's still good. That's still good. How quickly the tide turns. Beautiful crit. Awesome. Gets rid of the body as well. Good stuff. Haven't even needed to heal yet. That's going to be a problem. Weighted anchor is going to be annoying as well here. Should be fine. Should be fine. Fresh Beautiful stuff. Advantage. There's another crit. Just crits quarter. for days here. Crits for days. Just heal the party. Everyone tops up a little bit. Hit both of you. Only for seven, but you've both got pretty high prot, so that makes all the sense. Gonna get some bleed on us here. I don't mind it. Hopefully the dodge does help out as we go here. Impressive. Double crit. I like the way this gives dodge as well. So do the our dodges is going to be really, really high. I'm hoping, yeah, it pays off. Looks like it will. Ah, Hugh should kill both here, I think. Oh, not quite. Very, very close, though. Maintain the offensive. Get the kill there. Again, we are going for money, not heirlooms here, so I'm getting rid of the heirlooms. Quickly just check what this is. It's, it's too much of a risk to take that when we only have a few shovels left. We've got three, but it should be enough, but I still don't want to risk it yet. I'll come back for that. I will come back for you. Right, we've got another Curio here, and then a battle. Ooh, hello. I am just going to touch that. Resistance is heightened. Lovely. That is only until camp, but it's still useful. The, the impale off the bat is just so nice. 8% crits received across the board for everyone. And just keeping our stress really low as well. I say that as I get hit by a stress wave, but... Shan't be too bad. Get the party heal here. Get that dodge going. And we'll go for Hugh again, I think. Hugh's gonna kill everything. Like these two guys, I think. Yeah. Annihilated. Beautiful damage. Awale is just... He, he just, like... We're in a setting where he's constantly being, like, buffed up and supported, like, so heavily. It works really well. It really does shine. Confidence surges as the awesome. Enemy crumbles. Another crit there. Right. Um... Push on to the task's end. Holy water, I think, we'll get rid of here. In radiance, may we find victory. Scouting here, we got room with a battle, quest location. Let's go quest first. And what battle do we have here? Nothing to fear, really. Especially when we're getting surprises so often. Wow. I'm surprised that's happening the way it is right now. It's very nice. Get that buff going. As the Beautiful. Doesn't leave any corpses. There's nothing they can do. Nothing they can do against this. The absolute pure power that we have. With 40% increased damage is just crazy. The ground quakes. Very good. Very nice. Again, we go for a party heal here. Doing a good enough job. Viara's been, like, completely cushy in the back there. No one's touching her. After that story with her earlier, I do feel very bad for her. We leave those. We get those in other runs. We don't care about them for now. 
Got a new inventory slot opened up. We of course continue here, we've got plenty of rooms to go. It's certainly greed that is taking uh, taking hold of us and that proved to be a problem for her in the story we just read, but I will never give up my greed. Another mariner, another misfortune. Hopefully we get scouting here. Sadly not. As the light gains purchase, spirits oh, are lifted. Oh really? The purpose is made clear. It's as if as if the story summoned the events. It really is. It's as if it's summoned. We're going to give this a go, but we will leave if we need to. I think we should be okay. But we will leave if we need to. But basically, I'm thinking with the amount of dodge we have, we might be alright. Well struck. Good, good. That's a body taken care of. And we're going to be dealing damage across the board here with our throw and stuff, so... I'm hoping this, this goes okay. We'll, we'll see, though. Just buff him up even more. Buff the dodge. Taking care of you. You're just going to summon more in, I realise, but... It's the best we can do for now. Haha, -ha, thank god I dodged that. That's why, that's why the dodge I knew was going to come in handy. Unfortunately, the, the collector's call, we have very hard time hitting the back line. Do you bleed easily? You do bleed easily. Let's go for this. Luckily, we can get right through there. 16 crits received. I'm really hoping the dodge here pays off. Eradicated. But this is... Viara is like shitting herself right now, but this might this might give her some renewed confidence to be honest. Up to 24% chance increased crits. Then dodges are perfect. Keep that buff going. And improvement. It's this guy we need to get rid of. This guy's the problem. Sadly did not kill him there. He has high accuracy, which tends to be problematic Decisive in general. Pummeling. We'll see what he does. Headstrong, that's a heal. Love, love that. Love that. Get another bleed on you there. Hoping for a crit, but not, sure, not so lucky. The dodges are insanely good. Ho, 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 yes. The dodges... Viara, your nightmare is maybe over. We proved our worth here. There's that crit. 32% increased crit chance. The bleed is going to kill him next turn. Oh no, it's not. Not quite. Not quite. There you go. Oh, wow. That went so much better than before. I can't believe... The, the, the fact that the puppet theatre story summoned summoned that into existence. That's actually insane. Like, wow. Oh, God. Certainly scary. Certainly scary, but it puts us in a, in a good position after the fact. And we got a head out of it as well, which is nice. But God damn. Viara, poor Viara. Reliving the nightmare once again. She witnessed someone die to that beast the first time round. In that story, she lost her husband to that thing. And now she gets to kill it. Just. Life imitating art, it really is. But she played a vital role, an absolutely vital role in that battle, in giving us all that dodge. So the redemption that she must feel. It must be a, a huge relief. I can't believe it though. What a, what a turn of events. It even happened in the same way that the ex extra greed led us into the collector's arms. He knows when you're carrying a sack full of loot. He does. He is very, very aware when you are carrying loot. As victories mount, do you need key for this? No, you don't. Um, I 
gamble on those. Right. Keep this going. I don't think you can, like, you can get the collector more than once, so I think we're safe now. But goddamn. Scaries. The scaries, people. The scaries. A handsome reward. I don't mind when you're compulsive with things that we want to pick up. But otherwise, it's hella annoying. End of the fight here. We're handling the fights really well with this group. Just that while I was just able to just decimate the, f the front two, whoever they are. The dodges, even when we've got no dodge buffs, are uh, coming in clutch as well. Time to perform beyond one's limits. I'm liking this attack as well. The Scylla's really got some crazy strong uh, moves. You ready to die, pigs? Fall to the deep, that's fine. Go for a kill on you. That's gonna hurt, but we dodge it. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. I will take on this battle. Just a few lowly brigands. No threat to us. No worry. We can handle it just fine. Do a group heal here this time around, I think. So we're getting hit a little bit more now. Nothing major, but some damage on. There you go. Everyone's full health again. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you are very dead, my guy. No need to even heal there, but we'll do it. Honestly, Viara is getting in there with the kills as well. These Another money stack here. Can be felt. They can be beaten. Okay. Bass relief. Is that something we just touch? I can't remember. I'm sure. Take a risk. Melee training. Okay. Not terrible. Right. Back we go. We had at least one courier to grab here. Obviously, we're plunging ourselves into darkness here. I realize. We have a battle there. Do I want to go for that with low light? Certainly a risk, because we could get surprised. But at the same time, we're all full health. We're all low stress. We didn't even camp. Goddamn, forgot about the camping. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go for it. It's a risk, but it's a risk I'm willing to take right now. Secrets and wonders Sack is empty, of course. Okay, let's see how this goes. I've not done a dark battle in a while, so... We got the surprise, which is very, very crazy for me. They're going to be hitting crits a bit more often, so... Getting that... Um, getting that buff to our own uh, dodge is going to be vital. Absolutely vital here. That miss is very, very bad. That's the first miss that we've had so far. Really not good for us. The stress incoming is going to be high here. But we got camp afterwards, so I'm hoping we can get rid of most of that. Getting the miss is definitely, definitely a bad precedent to start us off. I don't care about you bleeding, but just don't stun me. Very good. That's fine. Don't taint me, please. Okay. Good kill. Good kill. Got the crit. Master 
good kill again. I've only used Hue as him so far. I've realized that I, I could be doing a lot more damage without Hue, but it's going kind of well, so I don't mind. Please don't stun. Oh, we got uh, Asthma, though. And we got stunned. Mm. Lovely. What does Asthma do? Less scouting. Ooh, that's pretty bad. We definitely want to get rid of that after this. Definitely want to get rid of that. More bleed. There's a lot of bleed on us right now. Healing's coming in good, though. Big hit on there. Wow, so much bleed. Holy hell. We don't have any bandages, do we? God damn. Please, god damn it, really? No kill. I'm gonna go for a self heal here. He, he must have extra healing received in some way or another. Success so clearly in right. You. We got this to grab and then we're good to go. Really trick of the light? We should camp as well, to be honest. I realize that we might have to fight the snakes if we do that, so we got to be ready for it. I'll see. I'll see. I think we are reasonably prepared for the snakes. I, I definitely would want to camp, so... Whoa, I opened it with the wrong fuck in person. God damn it. Idiot. Idiot. Didn't even matter anyways. Right, let's camp. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Right, so we're gonna do prevent night and ambush, which is here. Produce a trinket. Why not? Fine. Um Go with the resists there. Go with armor piercing there. And we are good to rest. So as long as I'm not collected, I'll be fine. The match there is they are. Stuck. A blazing star is born. So this guy is gonna take a ton of stress here, but this shouldn't be too bad. We will see. We will see. I'm hoping the resists their help, but they didn't that time around. Okay, this is not looking good so far at all. <laughs> um, I think we still go for the dodges here. And a lot of healing on you. I should have gone Hugh, because actually that guy has very little HP. I didn't even realize. My bad. I don't even know if it would have hit him, to be honest. I'm not sure how that works with this snake. The wounds of Everyone's healed up. Be healed. Get that dodge again. Never hidden. Hope the dodge pays off here. It did not. More blight. There's a lot of blight and stuff. God damn it. One snake killed. Good, good. Okay, this guy's free to kill now. Good, good. This guy's gonna be a pain in the ass. Do it, do it. God damn it, he's gonna hit Death's door here. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. You get the heal on him just in time. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Get rid of those bodies. And then you've got not much health left at all. How much health, actually? 17. Okay, we can't kill with uh, Viara here at all. It is going to go one turn longer than I would have liked, which means we're going to get a resolve check. Hopeless. There can be no hope of course, reminding her of her past no like this is not going to be good for anyone. Okay, the snake bit the person I was hoping you would, to be honest, so that's fine. And then there you go, we get the finish. 
Right. Good, good. Um, Brought low and driven into the mud. Okay. I think we are good to go. Right, that was an interesting one. Let's uh, let's hop out and see how much money we ended up making there, because that seemed like it was quite a lot. 28,000 plus the 4,500 for the mission. Good stuff. We also got a lot of trinkets. A lot of people's level 3. We did get rabies here. We also got the common cold there. Wow, okay, everyone got diseased there. God damn it. <laughs> Love that. Right, outside. check this. The advantage is ours. Bunch more level twos. Burgatier. 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 I really like as a class. Um, let me know if you want me to take him on in the next episode. I won't take him on quite yet. We're up to a good amount of money again here. Okay, let's quickly unequip our trinkets and reorganize them. Right, so you definitely want to head into here and pray. And then disease-wise, we've got rabies on you, which just can't be good for you. I'm just going to get rid of rabies, I think. And then uh, Renetta can get a heal later on as well. But yeah, that's going to leave it off there for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. We've definitely gained some good stuff today and managed to kill a boss. Yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, let's actually take one look at our uh, districts before we make any moves here to, uh, before ending the episode. Because there's definitely some stuff we want to do. Um, bank is definitely sort of next on the list. Apparently it's really, really good. I have heard that the stacking doesn't work though, so we'll, we'll have to see about that. Um, what else is this? So we've got the puppet theatre. Um, we don't want class specific ones. We want ones that affect everyone. So let's have a look, see, shall we? Um, heroes will not, no longer suffer from random hunger checks. Wow, okay. I don't know how we get those, but that seems crazy. We can't get any of these, because these, these require special um, tokens from the, one of the other DLCs. Smoldering. Sanguine. Okay, that's pretty good. We probably want to save up for that too. Um, bottles of blood are brewed each week. Seems very useful. Um, Crimson Court negative effects are half. That's really good too. Less stress in the co oh, that seems really good as well. Oh, interesting. Minus 20% off the costs of all of those. That's good. That's pretty good too. Random provisions are granted for free each week. That's also pretty good. Wouldn't save us a lot of money though. Death blow resist. Damn, is that for everyone? Max HP, accuracy, dodge, prot, and crit. Pretty expensive, but it's pretty interesting. Two additional respite points. Is that for when you're camping? Wow, okay. That's pretty good, too. Extra stress healed in all activities. And idle stress relief in town increased by another five. So that would put our idle stress relief up to 25 a week, I think. Um... Or is it 25? Uh, 25 or 30 a week. Still, it's really, really good. Um, and 33% stress healed in all activities is really good. That's definitely on the list of ones we can do. And we're pretty close to being able to get that too. Um, increase stacks. Doesn't matter. All curious heal at least two stress. That's pretty interesting. Um... A lot of good ones here. Please let me know if you if you spot any you really like think is a good idea for us. Wild hunt. Ten percent prot above eight percent HP. Okay, pretty good. Prot and dodge. Default skills for each hero are enhanced. I don't know what that means. But that seems like it could be good, but that's very costly. Oh, there's a no trinkets thing. That's interesting. There's a lot and a lot of different things we can do here. A lot of extra stuff when above 99. If th th this is these affect all heroes. I think that's kind of crazy. 
All diseases grant plus 5% damage. All debuffs from diseases are halved. Hmm. I'm guessing that's only vanilla ones, not modded ones, though. We have a lot of modded ones. Um. Wow. Gain special buffs when fighting each boss. That seems good, too. Okay, lots to think about there. Please do let me know if you see anything you like. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.